district director smriti kiran smriti if we can welcome you hi everyone thank you first of all for coming out and making time for us um i think um i think gratitude is always a good place to start with so i'm going to begin uh, by thanking the incredible number of partners that made this happen and have helped us build this space uh, i'm doing this on behalf of everybody sitting here and everybody on the board who's not present uh, i want to start with uh, geo our title sponsors who've supported us for the last 5 years and i'm hoping they'll continue to do so um they deepen the engagement with us every year and i can't say anything about this right now but at our opening ceremony on the 17th they have a few new initiatives that they're going going to announce uh star india who made the first call to us and came on board uh, to support mami in 2015 and have uh, stood by us um the government of maharashtra um for their unflinching support to us turkish airlines uh, mr gunte Minas thank you for joining us today um you've given us wings and uh, we are just so happy that you are on board because you've enabled travel all across the world for us and for our delegates to come here i think tk721 has almost become home and i know the istanbul airport more than the people working there <laughs> um large shot films for making sure that we do not miss out on the gorgeous short films that have gained so much of momentum in india pvr cinemas for films theaters and for enabling the academy's year round program so thank you mr bijli um jw marriott juhu for being our home during the festival gvk pranam services for setting the tone for the delegate experience in mumbai for the festival and solomon and co for having our back on the legal front carnival and regal cinemas for giving us a south mumbai footprint pentagon for making us look good on ground book my show for ticketing and registration cube via for keep, keeping us technically sound iris for keeping us piracy free and finally blue tokai for the coffee to keep us awake um i also have a i'm so sorry i have a long list i'm actually fortunately i have a really long list of people to thank but uh, the names that i'm going to take now these are this is the incredible mami team uh, that's been working tirelessly to make this festival happen and they are actually the real warriors behind um the lineup that is going to be unveiled for you so i want to start by thanking kalpana nayar who heads program coordination for mami she is brilliant uh and we won't be able to do this without her um i also want to tell you that uh, she brought us so much i mean there's so much of pride in her getting selected as a future leader by screen international at the cannes film festival um i want to also uh, talk about punita gupta uh gavin pinto richa dhar shada gul rajani sandeep upadhyay rashmi manuja gaurav gupta kriti dhananya disha gadia komal mithani risha anant ankit patel nikita deshpande dhruvi talreja monisha de manoj kumar dipanshu parmar ankita agarwal monish chitnis govinda ji and ramesh bhaiya for doing this for us uh, and of course our curating team anurang char uh the legendary uma dakuna uh rashid irani deepti dakuna mihir fadnavis ashwati gopalakrishnan ratish radhakrishnan samina mishra anu singh choudhary for the word to screen market and bharadwaj rangan for young critics lab <laughs> now i'm going to get on to uh you know just uh, getting on with unveiling the lineup and therefore i'm going to invite force of nature and one of the most graceful and elegant people that i've met uh, anupma chopra to do the needful escape please don't embarrass me <laughs> guys thank you so much for coming um, and really gratitude is always the best place to start um, i always say it takes a village to put together a film festival and we are so so grateful uh, to have this amazing village that really helps and to have an amazing leader like smriti who who has Oh my god who has uh, put in i can't even tell you what all to give you this amazing lineup so without further ado let's have a look at the films you're going to see premiered at the berlin international film festival this year and it was such an incredible experience global platforms like festivals can do so much for artists 
The talent you get to meet with and connect with and the access you have to other industries is tremendous. To be part of the team that is building a space like this in our country is a serious privilege. This year we have brought together some of the most sought after artists and professionals from film industries across the world to weigh in on our competitive sections. I'm delighted to present the juries for two of our biggest sections, the India Gold Jury and the International Competitive Jury. For the India Gold Jury, Franklin Leonard is the head of jury, Christian Jun, Cole Needman, Gronia Humphreys. And the International Competitive Jury, Competition Jury, sorry, Hani Abu Asad, head of jury, Julie Hansinger, Mark Adams, Vetri Maran, and me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zoya. Mr. Rohan Sippy. Um, along with uh, discovering new talent, uh, one of our mandates here is to award incredible filmmakers who've inspired generations. Uh, in the last few years, we've uh, awarded Amos Gitai, Jia Janka, Darren Aronofsky, among many others. This year, I'm, uh, we are very excited to announce that we're going to be honoring director Fernando Mireles, popularly known for his work on City of God, The Constant Gardener, uh, with the Excellence in Cinema Award. Uh, he's also going to be introducing his latest film, The Two Popes, and there's also going to be a master class with him. I'm, I think we're all looking forward to meeting him, and thank you, very big thank you to Netflix for making this happen. Thanks. I second Rohan in awarding and honoring legacy, the fine artists who have shaped the narrative and brought us to where we are. This year, the Excellence in Cinema Award will go to the incredible and multifaceted actor, poet, and painter, the amazing Dipti Naval. Mr. Ajay Bijli. Afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank Mami for once again having PBR associate itself with this uh, very exciting, fun, and important uh, festival. Uh, you know, we may, we've been building cinemas for a long time, uh, but I believe that uh, the cinema experience is just not complete if the content on the screen uh, connects with the consumers, and that's what I think makes the whole uh, experience complete. So it's, uh, we have lots of films anyway playing, but these 190 that have been carefully curated, selected, uh, will play in our cinemas, and I'm really excited about that. And uh, and also, we, we wear another hat of acquiring films. So we've got uh, some good films, Pain and, Pain and Glory, uh, The Beach Bum, and also we're showing uh, Asif Kabadia's Maradona on the 4th of October. So very excited to show films through PVR Pictures and also to exhibit films, uh, these exciting films. And thanks once again for the association. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mr. Vishal Bhardwaj. Uh, the talent in India is so diverse that we have specially curated an out-of-competition section that showcases new and exciting work from both critically acclaimed and breakthrough Indian filmmakers. It is my pleasure to unveil this selection in the spotlight this year. In the last 10 days, we have also announced our lineup for India Gold, and India story sections to much applause. Let's have a look at the selections in these sections once again. So I'm really, really proud of all the work that the MAMI team has done and all these amazing films that you're going to see. I, I love everything about MAMI, but this vertical has a special place in my heart uh, because my first love is Hindi cinema. Um, and the Mami Movie Mela celebrates Hindi cinema, Bollywood, I still call it that. Sorry to anybody <laughs> who's offended. Um, and and I, it's, just, it's just a celebration of our um, passionate, you know, relationship with Hindi cinema, with the artists in Hindi cinema, with the stars, with the filmmakers. Um, and I think uh, I'm very excited that this year we're back with the Mami Movie Mela, and I hope lots of you will register and come. Just a glimpse of the Mela. The 
year that we are launching. This is something that we've been wanting to do for a very long time. But this year, starting from the festival, and of course, it'll have an imprint through the year, we are launching our industry program. Um, I've spent the last year talking to a lot of industry professionals um, about what are their challenges and what would they like uh, a space like GeoMami would start to do. And I think access and knowledge and being able to connect with the right people from within the industry is a challenge for a lot of people. So we are starting an industry program that is going to have very sharply curated um, small sessions with industry experts for filmmakers, writers, uh, screenwriters, and the first glimpse of that you will see um, at this edition of the festival. Um, Geo is actually also coming in to do a few curated sessions like that. Um, we'll announce the lineup of those sessions, but these are B2B sessions for the industry. And um, now we open the house out for questions, so go for it. Uh, this is Priyanka from Indian Express. Uh, my question is to Vishal and Zoya. Uh, do you believe as filmmakers, festivals also, and especially like a platform like Mami, gives you also a reality check as to how stories and storytelling is evolving? Because a lot of times when we are you know, into mainstream cinema, we kind of miss out on what's happening around us. So if you could share your thoughts on that. Uh, I mean, uh, I wouldn't call it a reality check. I'd call it a perspective. Uh, and uh, we are filmmakers, and we are storytellers, and we are that because first we are audience. We watch films. We like watching other people's work. We actually enjoy that process. So that is why we became filmmakers. I'm speaking for you, yeah, but sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so I think that's why we became filmmakers. So um, yeah, we enjoy the process. I wouldn't uh, term it the way you did, though. Um, can I ask my question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Zoya said everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, when you watch a good film, it makes you envious and it gives you energy to work more on yourself. So it's, it's a great... And to watch the films in, on big screen is, is different, uh, like Roma when we watched last year. And then again, I watched it on Netflix. The experience was completely different. And yeah, Ajay, thanks for that. <laughs> Yeah, so the question that I, I'm uh, Sangeeta Wadwani from Hello Magazine, the executive editor. Uh, one, one of the very interesting trends that one has observed in Indian cinema now is the more edgier and the more risk-taking you are as a, as a person selecting a subject as a way of depicting character, gender meltdown. A lot of Zoya's films have been interesting that way because the women are now actually walking away from the institution of marriage so there's a lot of questioning that's going on in our storylines. Would you say that actually, from, even from a commercial perspective, taking a risk today is more relevant to our audiences than staying with any kind of formula? I don't think there's any rule. Uh, I don't think that there's any, uh, uh, if you, you know, you can't approach something as like, I'm going to do something different or I'm going to uh, do something that hasn't been done before. I think that's a sure recipe for disaster, if that's your intent. I think what you have to do is take a story that has moved you in some way, and what it made you feel, put that out there and transmit that in the most honest way possible. Uh, so sometimes those stories are not things that are part of the mainstream, or have been part of the mainstream narrative. Um, and I think today, with more screens, with more platforms, with a changing palette because of the access that we have. I think the audience is open to that. I think the audience is open to self-reflection and it's open to honesty. So a combination of all that I think has helped uh, uh, newer stories to come out uh, and that's it. But I don't think you need to go in with that kind of intention. Thank you. Hi, uh, my question is to Smriti. Uh, yeah. So uh, every year, you know, there's a lot of excitement for the India Gold and Associated sidebars, and we did see beautiful glimpses of the films that's coming up. If you could shed mo uh, more light on, you know, uh, the curation process for the various Indian films you're going to see, and uh, uh, maybe point out specific films you're excited about. Uh, uh, we know about uh, Gitanjali Rao's film. There's a lot of excitement. Good Vinder Singh's films coming. Other other directors you want festival goers to look out for? Yeah. 
So, you know, you'll have the whole lineup with you for sure. Yeah. And like you can't choose between your babies. I cannot choose between the films that we are programming, but they're amazing films. Um, in all three sections um, that deal with Indian films, um, I think the curation pro process, like everybody says, is a dark art. <laughs> I, I think you, um, I think the idea is to um, basically make Mami a discovery platform for um, exactly the kind of narratives that are coming out and how uh, you know new filmmakers are changing the game. And I think that is what we look for in films. Um, we also, in India Story, uh, I think the curation process is slightly different because India Story is not a competitive section. And uh, India has 22 official languages and it has um, many film cultures. So I think there, apart from quality, we also look at diversity. So that, uh, you know, there is a voice that different film cultures can have at a platform like Mami. Uh, hi, my question is for Zoya here. Yeah. Hi. Uh, congratulations uh, on Gully Boy going to the Oscars. So I just, you've gone on record to say that um, films no longer need, uh, filmmakers no longer need to bank on big stars, big names, you know, for their films to work. It's all in the storyline. Uh, let's say your Gully Boy didn't have uh, Ranveer Singh and Analia Bhatt in leading roles. Do you think it would have still got the response that it did? Uh, I really... Uh can't see the future or, you know, I, I don't know. Like, that's the only answer I know, is that I don't know. Uh, but having uh, said that, I don't mean that you don't need actors or you don't need stars or you don't need anything. I just, I mean, you, it, it really depends on what you're doing, what you're telling, what your budget is, who you're selling to, where do they fit in. I think any story, whether it's big budget, small budget, with stars, without stars, needs a strong idea or a strong story. Right. Uh, today, it's not just about stars. You don't need a camera. You can make a film on a phone. It, it, I mean, the whole game's changed. Right. It's not just about stars anymore. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Uh, my question is to Smriti and Anupama. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about Netflix's connection with Mami this year? We saw a glimpse of the Irishman. So like last year, are you going to show uh, as many titles of theirs on the big screen as possible? Um, we programmed six titles from Netflix. Um, all titles we asked for, they gave us. So thank you, Netflix. The connection is that they make really good films and we want all of them. And uh, they were kind enough to give that to us. The six of them, one is also in competition, which is Atlantics. I should not have said that, I think Kalpana is very unhappy because we've not dropped the international competition section, but that's the Marty Dio film. Um, and they've also managed to, we always, whenever we work with studios or production houses, um, we are constantly trying to get talent to India uh, for masterclasses, for interactions with uh, filmmakers here, the community here. And they've also organized Fernando to come here and introduce his film and also do a special masterclass with Anupma. Hello, uh, my name is Shalki and I'm from the Asian Age newspaper. And my question is uh, for you guys as filmmakers, uh, you, we tend to notice that Mami has, you know, the curation is quite experimental in nature, be it narrative or be it the stories or the execution of it. So do you guys also see that uh, popular cinema, maybe we need to incorporate more experimentation in for the, for, you know, general audience because uh, filmmakers and uh, cinephiles do really enjoy breaking away from certain patterns. No, you know, I, I think it's a really interesting time in our cinema now where you have within the span of three months a Ranveer Singh can do a Simba and then he can do a Gully Boy. I, I don't think we've ever seen a time like that in our cinema where an actor gets those sort of opportunities. Our audience is getting the sort of opportunities to be able to watch such a diverse palette of cinema. And I think what festivals do is they give us an opportunity to be able to watch films that we probably would not have had the chance to watch otherwise and to just expand our horizons. I mean, for an audience, it's just a chance to watch great movies. For filmmakers, it's a, it's a chance to watch the best of cinema from around the world and maybe learn new ideas or just enjoy, you know, movies that they would not have otherwise seen. But I think it's a really interesting time in Indian cinema today where it's not about limiting or moving away from what we were earlier. It's about expanding 
the palate of the audience where they can enjoy, like I said, a Simba and a Gully Boy with the same star and they both go on to do exceptional business. Uh, and that's, that's, that's very exciting, I think. Oh. Hi, uh, this is Shristi from News 18. My question is to all of you. Uh, what do you have to say about, you know, mainstream actors and films taking over the film festivals, which are primarily, uh, you know, meant for independent filmmakers and films which often has hard time finding distributors and uh, financers? Uh, what's your take? But have they? <laughs> Sorry. Have they taken over? Have has the mainstream taken I mean, over? A lot of. I mean, we nowadays we see a lot of mainstream actors. Uh, you know. Uh, can, I, they, can I just say yeah. that I, I find these um, divisions um, now. I think they're a little archaic. Uh, as he said, when you can do Gully Boy and Simba, and um, Tumbar is as much a Hindi movie as Simba is uh, as anything else is. I, I don't think we operate, and I've been around long enough to know the time when we did operate from those divisions. You know, when it was very obvious who art house was and who commercial was, but I really don't think we operate in those, um, in those paradigms anymore. Um, so I'm not sure who is a mainstream actor as opposed to who is not, I mean, who's Pankaj Tripathi? Is he mainstream? Is he art house? What is he? Who's Nawaz? Um, Zoya, who are you? <laughs> So I, I think, um, and, and I, I'm addressing it because I think that I, I was the one always accused of uh, bringing too much Bollywood into the festival, uh, because as I said, my heart belongs to Bollywood. Um, but I genuinely don't think those uh, divisions exist. And I think that if we can use the power of these artists to pull in eyeballs to other films that perhaps don't have that same level of distribution or eyeballs, we would have done something good. Um, I think, I think um, if we don't leverage the power of Hindi cinema when we're a festival in Mumbai, then we would be quite stupid and uh, ignorant. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Ukma from Nobara Times. My question is from everyone. First, Zoya, thank you very much for the Gully Boy. I hope we can get Oscar this time. So, I hope. So, अभी तक कि जैसे ऑस्कर हमें नहीं मिला कांस के भी कॉम्पिटेटिव सेक्शन में हमारी फिल्में उतनी नहीं पहुंच पाती जितना हम होना चाहिए या या हम उम्मीद करते हैं आप लोग इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे हमारे सिनेमा को कहां पाते हैं सभी से सवाल है I think it's uh, one of our mandates it's it's unfortunate that films like Court and films like uh, Newton and a lot of other films that could have been in competitive sections at festivals outside have been programmed uh, out of competition. Uh, these are fantastic films. We've got some fantastic filmmakers uh, like Gurvinder um, and uh, like Amit Masurkar. And they should have been programmed in competition, but I don't know why they weren't programmed in competition. Um, I think one of the mandates, like as an academy, we've taken it upon ourselves that um, one of the things that Geomami also does is, um, you know, foster relationships with a lot of festivals uh, to make sure that talent, Indian talent, uh, not only gets pride of place, but also gets discovered. Because sometimes what happens is there's only uh, five creators or ten creators from India that people in the West know about. You know, it is, you, India is almost like Europe. You've got 22 languages, you've got so much talent across the board. You've got so many films getting made that, um, you know, when they program, they program from Asia as a whole. So India gets maybe two spots, if at all. So I think we are also working towards it, and I think they're also getting aware um, as creators travel there. Um, but you're right, uh, there are films that were deserving that were not programmed the way they should have been programmed outside. But hopefully we'll change that. Vishal sir, you want to join us, please? I think बहुत अच्छा है lunch box के नाम से तो हम लोग जाने जाते हैं यहाँ पे Newton और दूसरी फिल्म कौन सा नाम लिया था मैं Court Court कितनी appreciate हुई है बाहर भी तो I think जब तक हम अपनी stories नहीं कहना शुरू करेंगे तब तक हम international में नहीं पहुँच सकते अगर हम चाहेंगे कि हम international फिल्मों से competition करें तो हमें अपनी कहानियाँ कहनी जरूरी हैं जैसे Court हमारी अपनी कहानी yeah, yeah. That will be a, you know, will make a mark. Thank you. 
आज हमारे बीच लेजेंडरी एक्टर विजय कोते नहीं रहे तो क्या कहना चाहेंगे आप सभी से क्वेश्चन विजय कोते लेजेंडरी एक्टर जो थे आज हमारे बीच नहीं रहे हैं तो क्या कहना चाहेंगे उसका रिएक्शन मिस्टर विजय कोते पास्ट हुए टुडे एंड या एंड आई मीन ही इस बीन अराउंड आई हैव सीन हिम इन फिल्म सिंस आई वाज अ चाइल्ड ही इस बीन पार्ट ऑफ शोले एंड आई मीन ही इस ही इस अ फेस दैट्स बीन इन एवरीवन्स कॉन्शियसनेस व्हेवर वाचेस इंडियन सिनेमा एंड वी वुड होप दैट वी रेस्ट इन पीस एंड गिव बेस्ट विशेस टू हिस फैमिल Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your questions. Before we break for one-on-ones, we'd like to have the jury together for a picture. <laughs> 